Hi guys, so as promised, here goes a small video just to explain what I've done uh, concerning the motor overheating issue here on the Phoenix S. As I think many of you that own this model and maybe some other that doesn't have enough uh, natural cooling around the engine uh, and it gets mighty hot uh, this is a simple solution, uh, cost-effective, that involves a 12-volt uh, PC fan, one of those coolers that you can find on many appliances. On this case, I just used what I had uh, in hand. I had this old 12-volt uh, fan. I think it's a 45mm one. And that, uh, that measure includes the square box where the fan is mounted originally. So I cut the three support arms that uh, stick the fan to the square support so I can just have the fan and its motor, which is this little block here at the back, uh, in a smaller package, let's call it that way, so I can fit here inside the, the thin fuselage. Because the Phoenix S doesn't have a lot of room, as you know, so you gotta be somewhat creative to, to overcome this issue. I had to trim a little bit on both sides, no big deal because it's uh, covered, of course, once you put the canopy on. Uh, so the prop here, the fan would clear and have enough room to work without hitting the fuselage. Of course, you can always use a smaller diameter fan, uh, maybe a 35 or maybe a 40 millimeter and possibly avoid cutting the, the fuselage. But as I didn't want to go to the store and buy a new one, so yeah, I used this one I already had, so case closed. Uh, as I said, this is a very simple solution. Uh, you just uh, glue a L shape, uh, maybe a piece of aluminum. I used a small plastic here glued together to make this L shaped and the back that contains the motor of the fan is glued into this L-shaped structure. So this is the L-shape and of course you will glue the motor here so it blows on this side, so it blows cold air into the motor. Then it's just a, it's just a question of passing the two power wires under, underneath the wooden tray. Let me just take the battery out so it's easier for you to understand. In this case, I have cutted the original wooden tray in half so I could use uh, both my batteries. I work in this model with the 1000 milliamp 3S battery, small lightweight pack, and I can also use the, the usual 2200 uh, uh, 3S packs. In this case, I put them here in this support I also did so the battery can slide further backwards and on the case of this smaller pack I use it directly here on this uh, wooden mount. So as I was saying the two power wires from the fan go underneath this uh, wooden tray glued with some hot glue and you can see them here positive and negative and you just solder the two wires here on the ESC if you can see here so just slice the the plastic sleeve here the uh, heat shrink tube from the ESC a little bit to the solder points from both sides then you peel the, this back and solder the two wires on the ESC uh, leads from the battery side so in this case the fan will always be on connected while the battery is still connected, even if you go out uh, of the motor power. So the fan will be always running. Uh, it's been tested, as you saw in the last video, and it works perfectly fine. Now I can go full throttle a lot and don't have any motor overheating issues. So yeah, that's basically it. So let me now just show you rapidly the 
little fan working. Let me just get my radio here connected. Just put the phone here. Let's see if I can do this quickly. Yeah, there we go. It's making a little bit of noise because it's an old fan and it's out of balance. I accidentally hit one of the blades and cut a little tiny bit off while removing the square box. <laughs> no big deal because this is a low RPM fan, but yeah, it's making a little, a little bit of noise and vibration, but nothing serious. It does the job. So, as you can see, works fine. You can feel the the cold air blowing here on the on the vent and once the plane is airborne you get a lot of airflow that's for sure and no more overheating problems okay guys any doubt don't hesitate to drop a comment and i will get in touch for sure take care guys bye bye